Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over with you some of the apps that I use on my iPhone that helps me keep track of all things health related. I thought this might be interesting for you because I like to have this information all organized in one place, so I thought that it may be interesting for you. I personally have an iPhone 6 Plus that I'm going to be showing this on, but you know there are so many apps that are very similar in the Android market. You can just look. A lot of them are also available on the Android market, so check there as well. Um, but one thing before we get into the apps, and I'm going to do a close-up of the screen so you can see it really easily, but I wanted to show you the phone cases that I'm currently using. I switch up my phone cases all the time. Uh, cell phone cases are kind of like accessories to me is you know with my wardrobe and I, I like to change them up a lot the ones that I'm using right now there are two that I'm switching back and forth between the company that makes these is called case pirate I was actually sent these cases to try out and I really like them because they're different than so many other ones that I've seen uh, this one that I have right here has a ruby on it and this is my husband's birthstone so they are birthstone themed cases and the background of them I'll zoom in for you the background of the case itself is kind of like a tan or a khaki color. It reminds me a little bit of like burlap and then the stone itself looks like it's kind of done in watercolor which is different. Very artistic. It looks like it was painted on there. I just think that the watercolor look of it is really pretty. You guys know that I take painting classes and, and I, mine is turquoise. Look how beautiful that is. The greens and the blues. I just really, really like that. There are two different styles of cases. This one uh, that I chose with the ruby, this is the tough case. So it has a layer of um, kind of like a plastic rubbery material in there and it covers, as you can see, how it covers the phone there. So this is my turquoise one. This is the slim case. If you like a, if you like a cell phone case that is a little thinner, you can see that it does not have the black going all the way around it and uh, more of your ports on the bottom show up. So if you like a thinner case on your phone, this is a really good choice for that. The owner of this company lives at the Outer Banks, which if you're not familiar is in North Carolina. North Carolina is where I am from and I thought that was awesome. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. If you're interested in these cases, check the description box below. That's where I will put the link where you can find them, find your birthstone or maybe the birthstone for your spouse or your kids or all the above. All right, so let's get into showing you my app. So I have everything, I try to keep my phone pretty much organized. I do not like tons of different screens. So currently I only have two and I put things in folders here on my phone. So right here you can see I have a health folder. So we're gonna open that one up and I have five apps in here. So the first one you're probably familiar with is MyFitnessPal. This is the app that I have used for years to track my weight throughout this whole journey. There's several things that you can track in here if you're not familiar. You can track your water intake. You can track your foods that you eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. If you're breastfeeding, you can enter that in there as well. You can also track the exercise that you do, whether it's cardio or strength training. And of course, you can track your weight and put in your current weight in there as well. The second one on here is one that I am, I go back and forth with using um, because I go back and forth with jogging if this one will come up. This is the Running for Weight Loss app and it helps you to just, if you're new to running, it helps you to be able to work up. It'll give you a plan for that. It does have some ads at the bottom so you have to deal with those but it's not a big deal. Um, once you start this, it asks if you're you know, going to be running indoors or outdoors, whether or not you want to have music and then what it does is it alternates in there between running and walking and jogging so that you gradually work up and you're able to um, increase the amount of time that you're actually running if you don't if you're not currently a runner I found this to be very helpful um, and I was surprised at how quickly I was able to you know increase the amount of time that I ran the third app on here I have is my U Fitness app. This one um, syncs with my wristband that you see here and I will link in one of the corners up top here the video that I did on that. Um, I have not synced this today. Let me do that. And I forgot to wear my uh, band this morning. I took it off when I was in the shower last night. Forgot to put it back on. So when I was in the gym today, uh, it did not keep track of any of that. So it is syncing. And then we have our step count today. We have our step count today, which is not quite accurate, like I said, since I didn't wear it to boot camp this morning. But it keeps up with how much I walk, how many miles, how 
many calories burned, how many minutes active. Again, not during boot camp class this morning, but I do find this helpful. It also, if you wear it when you sleep, it will track your sleep. So I enjoy that one as well. And then um, I also have um, your daily walk. This is an app that um, if you are familiar with Walk Away the Pounds by Leslie Sansone, and I'm gonna have to, <laughs> this keeps wanting to flip. There we go. So for this app, you have to go to her website and actually sign up for this. Um, this is this is the only app I have in this folder that is not free. It's $5 a month, but what you can do is, this is really good, especially if you travel. Um, each day, it gives you a new walk, so, and you can play it right here from your phone. <laughs> So um, this also works on an iPad if you have an iPad, but this is a really good one. Like I said, if you travel, um, if you need something on the go, or you just like looking at things on your mobile devices, um, I think this is a really good option for that because I know exercise is a problem for a lot of people. And then the last app that I have on here that I want to tell you about briefly is my Kindera app. I've been using this for years, and this is where I track my monthly cycle. Um, you can see I have been using this for over two years because this is my 26th cycle on here. But whether you know you're trying to have a baby or whether you're trying to not have a baby, this is helpful for both because um, we use natural family planning instead of any kind of birth control method. Um, and so if you understand the way that your body works and you can enter all that in here and understand the signs of when you're fertile and you're ovulating and when you're not, then you know if you're trying to have a baby, that will increase your chances. Um, if you're trying to not have a baby, then you know that will help you know when to um, use precautions during that time as well. But I find this really helpful because it will predict for you your next period. That's it for my health folder. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the apps that I use to track my health. And if you are interested in either one of these phone cases, um, and I forgot to mention these that they're available for the iPhone 4 through 6S Plus, and also they're also available for the Samsung Galaxy S5 through S7. If you have any of those phones and you're interested in these cases, then just check the description box below where I will put the link for that. I will also list down there all of the apps that I mentioned here, so you can go check for those either in the App Store or in the Android market. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions for videos, any of that, please leave it in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Give me a thumbs up for awesome iPhone apps that help you track your health, help you reach your goals, help keep you motivated. And until next time, until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Have a great day.